Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Harish and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about how you can fix FPS stutters and lag spikes in Fortnite Chapter 6. You just need to watch the video till the end and if you're new on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with your friends and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, before starting the video, let me introduce you the best tool for fixing ping and input lag issues in your games, Gira Postor. It's simple and easy to use. You can try it out with a 3 days free trial. All you need to do is add your game, click once and you're good to go. Check out the link in the description to get started. So guys, uh, step number one is you need to delete junk or bad files in your PC. For this, you need to press Windows key plus R. And here guys, you need to type uh, prefetch P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H. Press OK, Control A, select all and delete all of these bad files in your PC. Skip the step and again one more time press Windows key plus R and this time we need to type here percentage temp T E M P and again percentage. Now press OK, Control A, select all and delete these files also. There are a lot of junk files, guys, and in the end skip the step and once you deleted these files guys you can also delete these files in the recycle bin and it's done so guys after that the next thing you need to running a cmd command so for this you need to type here in the research bar and type uh, cmd and uh, open the command prompt run as administrator once it's open guys uh, you can find this command line link in the description you can simply copy the command and paste it here guys Control v paste it here and press enter so guys uh, this command scans and repairs your windows system improving stability and reducing stutters and lag once it completes restart your pc to apply the changes so guys after that the next thing is you need to removing plotware plotware can slow your pc significantly so here's how to remove it so guys in the research bar here you need to open windows powershell and once you open the windows powershell Copy and paste the scripts listed in the video description into the PowerShell and hit enter. These scripts remove un unnecessary apps and optimize your system settings after running all the scripts. Restart your PC for the changes to take effect. So guys, after that, the next thing is you need to update your graphics driver. So for NVIDIA user, you can open GeForce Experience and here guys you need to go to the drivers option and you can see the option check for updates. Click on it and it will automatically check for any updates if available. And for AMD user, you can try the same step by opening AMD Radon software to check your drivers update. So guys, after that, the next step is you need to verify your game files. Open your Epic Games Launcher and here guys, you need to open, um, go to the library option and here in the game Fortnite, click on three dots and go to manage. Here guys, you can see the option verify, click on it and verify your game files it will take some time so don't be panic you just need to wait for it and once it's done then you need to cross this and launch your game so guys after that the next step you need to adjusting in game settings so for optimal performance in fortnite set dx12 set dx11 has your graphics api then restart the game adjust the following settings like motion blur set to off quality preset set to low, shadows, global illumination and reflection set to off and 3D resolution set to 100%. Ensure NVIDIA reflex low latency is set to on plus boost for improved responsiveness if you have a good GPU and if you have a low end or a mid range PC then 
turn it off so guys after that the last step you need to enable the game mode so just follow my lead uh, go to the research bar and in here guys you need to type setting type settings go to settings option and here you can find the option gaming click on it and now guys you can go to the option game mode go to the option game mode and simply enable this option if this option is disabled now guys close the tab and now guys in the end guys you need to simply restart your pc and you're good to go now you can play your game without any lag and stutter and uh, if this video helped guys kindly subscribe the channel like this video share to your friends and we will meet in the next one until then peace out